bit of reading and a few questions for you to answer today from the Cool Kids book. So first of all, we're going to start with student book, page 10. And these questions are all about sight seeing. If you go to visit an interesting place, you go to look at what's at the place, then you go to see the sights. You go to look at what's there. Like if you go to Bangkok, you would probably visit the Grand Palace, or you would go to look at the river. So, let's look at what's happening on page 10. First of all, if you're going to go sightseeing, what do you need? A camera? Hmm. Flowers? I don't think so. Bus to go around? A bag? Sunglasses? Book? Circle the ones that you would take with you if you're sightseeing. And then let's look at the little text message here. The text message is from the girl Carla. And Carla lives in Mexico City, in the country of Mexico in North America. Let's look what she says. She says, I live in Mexico City. My family and I usually go sightseeing on the weekends, Saturday, Sunday. We really enjoy the downtown. Downtown is the middle of the city, or middle of the town, and its buildings. We usually visit museums, Pipitipan, but sometimes we take a walk and we admire, look at the architecture. Architecture means all the buildings that are there. Sometimes we get on a city tour bus. There we are, tour bus around the city. We don't go downtown by car, because we can see the beautiful buildings better when we walk. I always put a bottle of water, a camera, and sunglasses in my backpack. Do you like going sightseeing where you live? Okay, so that's what she says in her text message. And then three answers. True means yes. False, no. But doesn't say. Doesn't say mean we don't know. She doesn't say. She doesn't tell us, so we don't know the answer. So, yes, true, no, false, or doesn't say. So, first one. There are six people in the family. We don't know. She doesn't say how many in the family. So, doesn't say. We don't know. The family likes downtown Mexico City. We enjoy the downtown. They never visit museums. They don't like to take the city tour bus. Carla carries a camera in her backpack. Sometimes they go downtown by subway, subway the train under the ground. So those questions there is it true, yes, or no, false, or we don't know, she doesn't tell us. Okay, let's go to student book 11. And here we've got a little bit more reading. Here we've got an email from Greg, and Greg is writing to Superkid, which is the address of Greg, of uh, Max, sorry. And let's have a look what he says. So Greg says, hi, Max, what's up? That means, what are you doing? Are you enjoying your holiday? I'm spending a week at the beach with my cousins. They're all in the photo. In the morning, we go skateboarding or swimming. Then we usually watch a movie. We love reading comic books before we go to bed. We are really busy doing many, many things. I don't have time for chatting online, but I'm having a great time. Take care from Greg. So Greg is writing, he's writing to Max. So let's look at the five questions here. 
Who is writing the email? It's from Greg, isn't it? Okay. Where is Greg? What does he do in the morning? Does he have time to chat online? Is he having a good time? Okay, now, look at this little bit here. Underline the parts of the email with different colours. So, recipient's address. The recipient is the person that you're writing to. Okay, so who's he writing to? He's writing to Max. That's the address of Max. Okay. Next one. The sender's address. The sender is the person who sends the email. Greg sending the email. That's Greg's address. Subject. What's he writing about? There it is. There's the subject. The greeting. How does he start his message? The body. The body means most of the writing so that's the body there okay so there's the start there's the greeting there's the body then closing how does he close he doesn't say goodbye he says take care and the last one the sender's name the person who's sending it there he is great and then to finish, do the questions, not for Max, do the questions for you. So, where are you? Where? Place? Tinai? Who is with you? Who? Cry? Person? What things do you do in the morning? What? What do you usually do in the afternoon? And are you having a good time? If the question begins with those, does or is or are, your answer must be yes or no. So, try those. Student book page 10.